Oh yeah. So here we are, and here are all the pieces, and I've pulled them together already. We can move that one actually down, it's a uh, perfect fit. Uh, and then the washers, the screws, and we can see that the first thing we need to do is attach these two black pieces to the servo. And then once that's done, you can see that we have to screw these pieces into the metal and make sure that one has a 60 millimeter gap and one has a 43 millimeter gap uh, which we'll do and then ultimately it should look like that so i'm going to go ahead and screw in those black pieces and then we'll move on to um, putting together the tie rods so i bought these shock pliers and strangely enough I'm finding them very useful for this step as well because as you can see you have to screw these plastic parts onto these very thin uh, metal tie rods. Well if I go to the smallest setting on here, okay, there's your smallest setting. Well I can now screw this on with very little difficulty because I've got something to hold hold the uh, the tie rod in place with so now I can just keep spinning the tie rods not moving and so I just need to get this to the right length which will be fantastic so I'll just keep doing this until we've got the right length. So as you can see, they are now a perfect fit. And I've got the exact measurement that they're requiring for those tie rods. And this um, shock plier actually just made the job that much easier because I could actually hold it very steady and get it perfect. So now I will attach it to the servo and then we can move on to step nine, which is actually installing it onto the chassis. So now what we'll do is we'll attach these tie rods to the servo. And as you can see, this is the M, um, uh, what is it, MR2, which is the longer rod of the two, which is this one. And it goes into the first hole at the bottom. So this one here. So. We're going to take this, doing it the way they are saying, we stick that in the hole and then we bend back so that it's in and then we take the other one, stick it in the hole and bend back and there we have it. We have the servo and the rods all ready to go for installing in step nine. So as we can see, it's attaching the steering servo for step nine. I needed some washers from bag A. I needed some tapping screws from B, um, bag B. And now we're going to attach the servo to the chassis. And here you can see this is where you're going to attach the um, remaining part of the original sort of bumper pro um, protector uh, that we put on earlier uh, using the two tapping screws again on that side. So there's installing the servo and installing the last part of the, the um, side bumpers. So there we go. There is how you are to install that servo and there is the finished servo so those two screws are going on on the underside right here and right here and then these will attach to the uh, the tie rods or the uh, front 
um, axle pieces that will move the tires uh, left and right. So we've done that and we've put in the other screw that was needed to hold on that third bumper piece. So in fact, the car is at this stage of the game, the servo is in, and now we're gonna move on to step 10, which is actually installing the rest of the radio gear and the uh, ESC. So this is interesting. So this is step 10, and it's showing you where to place the receiver, uh, electronic speed controller, etc. But they show another option, which is installing a CPR unit. Now what's funny is, this is a re-release Grasshopper, uh, but the CPR unit was a receiver and electronic speed controller all in one. They don't even make this anymore. Uh, they may have produced it for about 10 years. It was uh, something that Futaba did with Tamiya uh, producing this thing. And it it's from way back when. I think it was 1993 or something when they started it. So they're very rare. It is possible to get a CPR unit. Uh, but they come direct from Hong Kong. I mean, you can look them up, see if you can find one. But for the most part, you're going to have the system that we've set up, or I've got set up here, which is going to show a separate receiver and a separate electronic speed controller, which obviously comes with the kit. So I have decided that the best placement for this is I'm going to have the receiver at the back of the car here, and this is going to sit uh, here so that'll be at the back the, the uh, speed controller will be in the middle uh, and then this it shows that that should come from the front anyway so it's it'll fit and then I've got to install the uh, on off switch which is down here I've got to attach it from down there but I think that's how that's gonna work out so I've now got them in place I'm happy with the placement and as it showed here you do it by double-sided tape, and that is in the box, the double-sided tape. Um, so I'm happy with the placement. It gets the receiver out of the way. Uh, the electronic speed controller is right here. It's ready to go. These cables are gonna be moved and obviously will end up heading towards the, the motor. Um, but the last piece is putting on the on-off switch. Now, just so you can see this, see how the on off switch is already screwed down and has a little piece on there that actually says on and off. You actually want to take that off. So you need to unscrew that because you're gonna screw it into that spot right there. So it doesn't need an on off because um, you can't see it anyway. So you're creating your own, um, I guess suppose on off switch spot. So that needs to be unscrewed before you um, put that together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's all done and there actually was a little on um, indicator on the uh, underside when you unscrewed the, the piece that was on the switch. So you can sort of see it there, but the on position is further forward of the car um, and then you can see that the on off switch is right here running back to the receiver and the ESC and then these cables um, they're going to go to the motor one of them isn't because uh, it all depends on whether it's a brushed or a brushless motor so one of these is just a spare wire that's not going to be attached to anything so I'll probably just uh, tighten it up and move it out of the way um, but until we get to further along, I won't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So that is the installation of all of the radio gear. Everything is ready to go. Servos in. So now we're going to move on to step 11, which is putting on the uprights for the front of the car. 